I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 4th of September 2022 and this is my vlog of daily life in Nicaragua. Today I am once again in the lovely city of Matagalpa. It is cloudy, there's been drizzles, a little bit of heavy rain, and today is the day that we are here with the girls seeing the the fair for corn, the, the Feria de Maiz. We came in for the Corn Festival and it is a very, very lively town uh, all weekend. I went out late last night for a walk and came into downtown and it was thousands of people hanging out. And so today, look at some of the, this, these houses are so cool. I'm just walking through the streets and uh, such a beautiful city. I just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And so it's Sunday, did I say that? We are, um, I got up this morning and we got breakfast together, uh, Dominica and the girls and I, we just were at the Hotel uh, Biscayne and um, just did, Dominica and I did traditional Nika breakfasts, the girls did pancake breakfast, which actually uh, turned out to be, we think, uh, corn cakes. They were fantastic, some of the best pancakes I've ever had. Um, I tried a bite, that was all, and uh, it was really, really good. Uh, so that was a nice breakfast, got the day started, uh, and then they wanted to get ready for a little while, and, and I wanted to do some discovery, so I went out walking uh, and did some filming this morning, went to the mini, the super mini, and got some uh, grocery items and such. Hola! Uh, and got some exercise and got some of the ketchup on the filming done because I've just been busy yesterday. We were traveling and such. Oh, another gorgeous house here. Wow! Um, and so went to uh, probably 6,000 steps or so this morning before getting the day started, and then uh, came back with snacks and stuff for them, went and got cake. Luciano was interested in some cake that I had seen last night, got all that, um, actually had a pretty busy morning, and then around 11 o'clock or so, because the fair was supposed to open around 10, uh, and then around 11 we got them out and we went down to the fair to get the day started. We went, I mean, we stopped and got some water at the Super Mini on the way. And uh, so the fair honestly doesn't have that much. I mean, I would recommend if you're in the area uh, that coming to the fair is a good thing to do. It's a great cultural experience. Come support Madagalpa. And there's a dog sleeping on the sidewalk. I didn't want to bother him, so I stepped around. And oh, a little Italian restaurant that I didn't know right there behind me. Kind of see, I think it's Sapporo. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm really close to downtown, uh, and I've been sent out on a mission uh, to find a restaurant that's missing. And if you are seeing tons of cops in the pictures filming this on Sunday during the fair, and so there's so many people out and about and so much traffic that there are a lot of cops out just keeping the town um, safe. So, so don't be surprised when you see just on corners lots and lots of police. That is not normal. Uh, this is, there is a lot of people descended on the city for this event. And downtown is just mayhem of people. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, overall, the fair is some concerts, and they're, they're constantly putting on displays, but the displays are in Spanish, so if you don't speak Spanish, you're not going to, like, the, the grandstand is not going to make any sense. Um, and it's very noisy, right? It's a megaphone and stuff. So you're going to be like, what are they saying? What are they saying? I don't know. Um, and sometimes they have music and dancing. And at night, there's, like, concerts, so that's a lot of fun. Um, during the day, there's a lot of food. As a vegetarian, there's a lot less food than you would probably want. There's, it's, it's a corn festival, but they don't have as much corn as, as we were led to believe. And a lot of the main food that you get is chicken and uh, French fries. Like that's like the, the fair food, which would, to be fair, that is what fair food in the United States would be, right? You would get tons and tons of uh, fried things like that, French fries, fried dough, all that kind of stuff. So that's normal, but, uh, I was, we were expecting, being that it's a corn festival, there would be just tons and tons of corn products specifically. Now, we did manage to find some places doing corn and got some of the corn stuff. There is this corn pudding stuff that's like sweet and tart and corn all at once, and it is weird and really hot. Um, none of us particularly liked it. A homeless guy begged us for it. We gave it to him. Um, but uh, there is... Um, uh, just regular, like lots of corn on the cob. There's uh, what's sometimes here called elotes loco, which is corn on the cob with a million things on it. Elote is just corn on the cob. Contrary to what they say in the United States, because it's Spanglish, right? They're not using the real word elote. Elote is simply corn on the cob, which we're used to. We know that that's the case, um, but 
it's uh, Elote's Loco is when they take corn on the cob and it's like mayo and cheese and ketchup and barbecue and all kinds of stuff. And I just came up on the fair. I'm looking for something specifically. The, the family has sent me out to see if we found a business that is open. But I'm gonna turn the camera around to let you guys see the, some of this fair going on. This is not the actual main fair. This is a secondary carnival uh, that's happening on another street. Uh, but this is like the ancillary events for the fair and uh quite a bit of this but there's a, all these same kinds of rides also exist in the fair proper so there's a lot of people out doing stuff and the fair proper is just up there at that corner and then it goes that way so this is i mean it's all part of like the same complex more or less uh but i'm not quite sure why why it's split up this way so very interesting and that is the main cathedral just up that way uh, and that's the downtown intersection. So we're right in the middle of the city. I'm gonna turn off the camera for a second because I need to look up where I need to go. I need to check my map and we'll move on from there. All right, good. Our restaurant for later is open. And so I'm gonna be walking back and telling the family that we're able to go. So one of the things that I like a lot about Madagalpa, and this is just physically its location. I'm gonna spin the camera around. So this is a uh, university annex, the Yukon uh, campus in Leon is really near where we live. This is a beer and cafe place. Check out how tall that is, right? They have that upper deck that's way in the air, but it's because, look at how it's built here. The, remember, I'm right downtown. That is a really high rock wall, and there is something up there that looks like a bar. I mean, it is a bar. It says it has beer on it. Right, and that's the, the, the amusement park we were just at. This is all the farther I came. I could have brought you guys with me to find the restaurant. Uh, it was super close, but absolutely amazing that this kind of, the city is just built into the rock wall. So you will randomly find huge rock outcroppings in the middle of town that things have been cut through. And this is the restaurant we're heading to for dinner. At least that's our plan. It's hard to get Chinese food in Nicaragua. Not hard, hard. If you're in Managua, obviously it's easy. And if you're in Leon though, there's only a handful of places and their menus are pretty limited. Uh, and so we tend not to go because of either Dominica's allergies or us being vegetarians. They just, it's its really hard to find one. So when we're in another town, it's a common thing for us to kind of be like, let's check out what they have. Maybe they'll have something really interesting. And uh, I believe this big building here is a university campus. I'm not completely sure of that though, but I, I'm pretty sure that's a university uh, main building. There, there are quite a few universities here in Madagalpa, which is quite surprising. If that's not what that is, then it's, um, it's just a, it's like the Madagalpa building. It's basically that and the cathedral or downtown. Um, but that's a, something that's so different from Leon. Leon being colonial, we only have these old, old buildings that have always been there. Nothing's that big. But here in Madagalpa, there's actually quite a few really large structures throughout the city. Um, and it, it just, it throws me off because I don't expect to find that kind of stuff here in Nicaragua and get a little bit of, hopefully my camera's still on. There we go. some of the activities going on. It's just, it's really popular. This is the thing that everybody comes out and does these events because it's, it's the big thing, right? Because they're big central events, everyone takes, even though, you know, it's silly rides and, and fried chicken, everyone takes the time to come out and see all the neighbors and meet people. And it's a lot of fun. It's a big social event. Uh, so it really is pretty cool. I'm going to, because it's hard to walk through and I need to pay a lot of attention, um, I'm going to do some speed walking through the middle of town and pick you guys back up on the other side. So that is that is the cathedral right there and that is the main park right in front of it, uh, Morazan, uh, where the current festival is going on. And that was our walk through the fair. I think that they give you a little bit of an idea. I got a lot of film 
earlier in the day of it as well. So I put together quite a bit so I can show you. Uh, but so we, we did manage to go to this corn place and tried all the different types of corn. The one that we really fell in love with is a thing. And now we, we did figure out how we can get it and they do sell it really in, in downtown here in Madagalpa. We can buy it pretty easily. I'm sure we can get it in Leon. I just don't know where. Uh, but here in Leon, it's a, it's a standard food and it's basically a, uh, what is that are these? It's basically a corn pancake-ish thing, not sweet in any way, uh, but a thin corn pancake that's really good. Uh, Liesl really enjoyed it just as its own thing. And then it's got a uh, sour or bitter cheese, just a little bit. Um, and uh, then you, you kind of tear off part of the pancake and you grab a little bit of the cheese. And that's a really common thing here is just having cheese in a tortilla of some sort. And then this is just a little bit different than a standard corn tortilla. And, uh, and then you dunk it in a sweet, sour cream kind of thing just crema but kind of a, a sweeter than usual and it's really loud at this um basketball gate that i'm coming past so i'm gonna pause it and pick you up on the other side all right i actually got stopped on the street while i was filming and karen who is a youtuber in matagalpa caught up with me and we actually we spent like an hour talking uh so i wasn't able to finish my recording for the day while i was in matagalpa so i apologize i didn't get quite a bit uh, of filming done that I had wanted to do in the city, but uh, we had a really good conversation. I'm looking forward to be able to bring you guys uh, her channel, which is coming out soon. She actually has been working on it, but is, does not have any videos live yet. She has a team in Madagalpa producing Nicaraguan content. Uh, it sounds like she's gonna be doing some interesting stuff uh, to help people along a lot of the same lines that we are here, uh, although her initial channel is going to be in Spanish. So uh, shout out to Karen, it's great meeting you. Uh, and so I didn't get the footage that I wanted, but I did get a bit of footage around, sorry for the beeping in the background, I did get a bit of footage from around uh, the festival earlier in the day and yesterday. So I'm gonna show that while I'm talking so I can tell you about the rest of the day. So we were still uh, where we left off. We were trying the food. Liesel and Luchana tried this uh, corn pudding stuff that's both sweet and tart and really weird. And uh, it's probably good. I think I would like it cold, but it was, it was piping hot. And they say that you should drink it hot. Um, neither of them was a fan. Uh, and I had mentioned earlier, a homeless guy came by and begged for some food. And we gave him that and he was very happy. He had already had one and he wanted more. So. We gave them that that was not our thing but the other the other food was really excellent we enjoyed the corn and then we we went around and we did some shopping and and bought a few things and explored the market uh at the fair and and it was nice um the kids had a good time they said it was fun um but it wasn't uh was it wasn't the most exciting set of things it isn't the kind of stuff that that we normally do but it was a, it was a nice break and certainly a nice festival i would i would uh, recommend going from there we went back and we knew we were going to do this we went back to the house and i dropped them off and they all napped or just played video games on their on their ipads or whatever and then i went out and did all of today's recording after that point so i did most of my recording during this afternoon nap period when i was free in daylight to go all over the city so i walked miles and miles again so yesterday and today so much walking for me it's been great i'm really enjoying it and uh so uh uh, our plans tonight, once I was done with all our recording, which you can piece together from watching where I went, um, I went back and gathered them at 6.30, which is a bit later than we wanted to, but again, Karen had found me on the street, so I stayed out. I was on my way back and nearly back to them uh, when she found me, so I was about an hour late getting home and uh, or to the hotel uh, so i got back grabbed them and we went out to the beijing which i showed on the video earlier for dinner we had a really nice dinner there they didn't have a lot of vegetarian options but they had enough for us for sure we got fried rice and uh, chow mein and real chop suey which is not like chop suey in the united states which we know in the united states has its own definition of chop suey which is completely different than what real chop suey is uh, real chop suey is like chow mein that's been fried Fried, so it's crispy uh, but in the United States chop suey is like this weird soggy thing it's it's bizarre how opposite uh, it is and how the word got so countermanded but um, we had a really nice dinner it was only like 600 cords so not very much at all it wasn't even 600 it was a little bit less uh, and we were so full we had so much food left over and, and we couldn't even begin to finish what we had and we took like an entire meal home it was crazy 
but that was really nice. Uh, when we were there, like all of the clubs next to that, which earlier when I showed you guys, it was all like very quiet, like these bars and stuff next door. By the time we went to dinner, that was a hopping club district. There was between five and seven really big clubs with just packed with people and super loud music and lots of lights. It was, it was actually really cool. So Dominica's like, I kind of feel like going out. So I dropped her at El Patio on the way back, which is right next to the Beijing. I walked the kids back, dropped them off, made sure they were good at the hotel. And then I walked back again, met Dominica at El Patio, and we hung out for the evening for a couple hours there. We got some food and we got some drinks and just chilled. Uh, at that bar and checked out the club district just what we sat in the window the front window so we could see people coming by and it was surprising how many people would come by and like fist bump me in the window or something like it was just weird how much people interacted with someone in the window I'm not used to that like I mean obviously here in Leon we know what it's like sitting on the street and it's not like that normally sometimes people would ask me for a beer in Leon and you'll hand them a beer like you have some extra beer you hand it out the window um, but it's it, it was it was a bit different in Matagalpa but we had a really nice evening uh, and then somewhere around 11 o'clock or a little bit later we headed back to the hotel uh, and got off to sleep because we do have to get up and travel tomorrow because we got to get back to Leon. So that was our day in Matagalpa at the Corn Festival, It was the Corn Fair. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We really had a good time. We're glad that we came up. Uh, hopefully the travel back goes well tomorrow. And uh, we're, we're learning how to get to and from these different cities. As each city becomes something that we know, it makes it that much easier. Um, and uh, at this point, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see just while I'm talking. These guys are with machetes. This is standard. This happens everywhere all the time. You can see this was uh, sometimes I feel film this and there's this really tall grass and weeds. This is what mowing looks like. They have machetes and a stick and um, the stick has an extra little stick so they can place it on the ground. And you just put the stick down and whack the machete against the stick and it mows the grass and then they harvest it and put it on the horse-drawn cart uh, and use it probably for feed or something. That I don't know. Maybe they burn it somewhere. But this is what lawn mowing is like here. It's really done with machetes and they pretty much cut down to the ground or nearly so, uh, but it works pretty well because of uh, how much rain we get and how much sun, things grow back really fast. So cutting all the way to the dirt is not a problem uh, in any way. It's also how they trim the bushes. You can see here, like they've trimmed these, these bushes back a bit and it's all done with machete. It's amazing how much Machetes are just the universal tool. You can do so much with them and they're very cheap to make. It's it really something how it's able to be such a, a popular and useful tool when in other regions of the world we don't use them at all. Like we can't imagine in the United States ever picking up a machete and saying this is a usable functional work tool. And here it's, you know, it's not a weapon in any way. It is what everyone uses for everything. So it's just interesting that that's going on. That was our day in Matagalpa. Thanks everyone for joining me. I'm glad you guys were able to come along to another city. I'm hoping to make Esteli the next city that we explore. And that one I've never been to beyond just passing through and stuff. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So many people tell me great things about Esteli. I really need to get out there and explore and bring some of that stuff to you. It is one of the densest populations in the country. Uh, and it's one of the most modern cities. So it's got, I think, a lot to offer uh, and, and interesting. And now I know how to get there by bus from here. And I'm looking at some cool bus projects. We're gonna see See if I can see if some of them make sense. I'm, I'll bring that to you in the future. But remember to like and subscribe. And thanks so much uh, to everyone who is considering sponsoring. If you look in the description below, when I say buy me a coffee, there's actually a link to buy me a coffee, and you can send me a coffee, sort of virtually. Um, it's uh, it's a way to sponsor the channel. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comments down below. All that conversation is awesome. I'm glad to be able to answer things. Uh, I know some a lot of people are in town to see me this week, so I'm gonna do my best to meet up with everyone. Hopefully by the time you see this video, I will have met up with at least several of you uh, because it's, it's just a very busy week. Everyone's coming here at the same time, which I don't know if that's just random chance or if travel is just really picking up that much that everyone's uh, starting to come in and we're gonna see people on a regular basis, but I'm looking forward to meet with everyone. Thanks so much, I will see you all tomorrow.
Thank you.